Long time no see. Yeah, my apologies for not being around. It's just things happen. I know, yeah. Uh, I'd like to also apologise to sponsors of my channel. People have been sending me bits and pieces, just not been in communicado because I had a relationship breakdown and an emotional meltdown, okay? So you can say I'm sort of recovering as it were yeah just get my life back on track going down the gym sort my head out and yeah that's as far as it goes as for this country now it's starting to really turn into a shit show isn't it yeah I told you i told you this was coming and it's not because i'm prophetic it's the fact that i've been listening to preppers yeah which are not far wrong actually um so yeah it's pull the old belt in and just watch the walls close in on us and see what's going to happen, yeah? So, what's happening at the moment? Not much at all. Not much at all. I uh, I can't find the spark to do any videos at the moment. Uh, although it might change. That might change. But I have embarked on another project, which I did talk about yeah, maybe a year, year two, year, two years ago. I sort of wrote a book and then I realised that the genre of the book that I was writing, the whole thing is just a real shark's tank and I don't want to get involved. So I've uh, cannibalised it, as it were. And after listening to fantasy books, uh, especially from Devon C. Ford, I don't know if you know him, he does like apocalyptic type books. And uh, uh, watching what he said, I, I, I actually started writing again uh, a fantasy, yeah? which I'll tell you about it. Do you want to know about it? Yeah, I'll tell you a little bit about it, right? Uh, I know some of my workmates are really sick of me going on about this, but then again, I've been playing with ideas, yeah? So what it is, um, Tony Griff. Tony Griff, you know Tony Griff, don't you? Yeah, and Eva Barashiva, they're uh, like a couple that come together under unusual circumstances, you could say, and they have a romance, yeah, but it's not the normal type of romance. They have to uh, deliver a uh, convoy of, uh, or tra trailers, refrigerators with vaccines in it to a biological incident uh, in a war-torn zone. Okay, and you know where the war torn zone is now because it's actually happening in real time, yeah. Um, but what happens here, really, uh, like Tony's a uh, he's a Jason Statham cross with uh, that guy from uh, uh, what's his name, Simon Pegg, yeah. Um, you know, us Brits and HGV technicians and HGV drivers, we have a banter and humor, don't we? So, this is what it is in the book, and Tony brings out something in Eva that she's had latent in, within her. She's like a very good-looking, blonde hair, blue-eyed Latvian uh, middle management, you could say, uh, human resources female who employs him uh, to escort the convoy. But he brings something out in her which is missing in her because she's so bored with her life. And he wants some adventure as well, and it, it does turn into one of those Shaun of the Dead sort of things where it's, it's British banter and whatever. But there's a lot of storylines going on in there. They do have fun to release the pressure of the stress that they're under. Uh, but uh, it re the reality is that you've got a lovesick uh, driver, Mouse. You've got Ballsy, who's a... A uh, experience one. You've got Tina, who's the LGBTQ woman who hates men. And then we've got the guy who dies halfway through, which leaves them in a, uh, a very sticky situation, yeah? Um, it's not dark. It's not dark. It's not completely humour e either. It's British. And you know how we are, HGV drivers and HGV technicians, how we get on well together, don't we? Yeah, it's that type of book with a love story involved, yep. Yeah? Um, the love story is actually quite explicit in places. I don't know if I can get away with that, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's one of those things, yeah. It's directly out of my head. It's what my imagination can generate. So, yeah, Eva, just 
just so you know, um, Eva Barashiva, I, I sort of like invented her character and I wrote, wrote halfway through the book and then I realised I really needed a picture to concentrate on. So I went and looked for one, got one. I was looking at that. I thought, yeah, that's OK. I've got another picture on the computer screen here, how her physique almost is. She's very muscly defined because she's uh, into sports and so is Tony. Yeah. Um, and then I went to look for some movement of some blondes and I found somebody called Eva Mikulski. Actually, she's fucking hot. Yeah, and uh, didn't realise, looking at her Instagram, Eva, yeah, I've got the same name. I thought, yeah, this is a coincidence. I looked at her and she's actually got a really good sense of humour and she's very playful, which is what our blonde is about, yeah. And uh, Tony is just as playful, if not more, and they just really do spark it, yeah. Uh, but it's the interaction of the relationship that I'm doing and the problem solving uh, with Mouse because he's lovesick and he's fucking useless with girls. Uh, Tony isn't actually the hero, even though you think he is, he's not actually the hero, it's Mouse will be eventually. The book, or the books, there's three of them, hopefully I should be able to produce three once I've learned to write properly. Um, this doesn't get too dark, but it will be dark in places, and there's some funny bits which, yeah, I, I don't want to tell you about. But it's inspired by British movies like uh, John English, you know what I mean, and uh, uh, the... Uh, uh, Shaun of the Dead type of thing, or, or Paul even as well, yeah, you know, the, the movies. Uh, it's just the way that we Brits think, don't we? We sort of don't take things too seriously, unlike the Americans have got to be damn serious all the goddamn time, we've got to have too much CGI. It's not like that. This is this is jokes like uh, Tony getting makeup put on his face while he's asleep, so when he gets up and he, he walks over to the Russians, he's dressed like a woman in his face and they laugh at him and, the, and Tony doesn't know why, you know, it's that type of thing, but... It, it does just show a different light on the way we do things. So, yeah, there's a lot of HGV stuff involved in there, a lot of love, a lot of sex, <laughs> and a lot of dilemmas as well, yeah. And, of course, the, it's not just one thing. I will take you deep down into some emotions of how sad it is in a, a, a town called Mariupol and how damaged the place is, and, yeah. Um, but that's all in the book. Eventually... Right, so I've done about 100,000 words so far. It should be about 160,000 for one book. Words, I'll write, I'm writing it, uh, putting it down, then I'll edit it and learn to write properly, so it, I'm really taking you there, yeah. There should be some supplementals, hopefully, which is Tony's diary of what he thinks about Eva that you don't see in the book. And then there's Eva's thoughts, which is going to be hard to do to try and put myself into a female's mind, yeah. <laughs> I'll probably have to put the old makeup on and shit like that and sit there and think about it. Yeah. And then, of course, there's Mouse as well, who is actually um, going through his hero's journey, as it were. Yeah. Which, yeah, it, it's all those supplementals to people who are interested in certain layers of the book. Yeah. There's, there's so much going on in it. It's, it's a hard one. It's a hard one. That's why I'm taking my time over it. But it's actually helping me get over my breakup. Yeah, and some of the some of the experiences I've been through in life, but generally, as a rule of thumb, what writers do, and I've learned this, is they take bits of characters or they people they know, then write about them in a different way, put them in a different circumstance, imagine them in it, and then write about that. Yeah, so this is what I'm doing. So some of the people I know will actually be in the book in bits. People I have known in the past will be in those books. You know, it's one of those things. It's I'm writing about. It's like my world, but it's not me, if you know what I mean. Yeah. So it's, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I don't know if you're interested or not. You might be. Uh, as for this channel, I really don't know where it's going to. I really don't know what's happening. It's just have to take it as it is at the moment. But I'm tucking myself up in bed when it's cold. Woolly hat on. <laughs> covers over. Tapping away at the old laptop there to, uh, to knock out a story. And um, this, hopefully, if I get it right, this will help me in my pension when I get older, yeah, because, I mean, you know how things are, if, you, you, if you've got that talent, and I hope I have, if not, if it's a skill, then I'll develop it, yeah, um, but we'll see, we'll see, if you like it, you like it, you don't, you don't, but it's not out yet, so you wouldn't know, anyway, uh, that's enough from me, I just want to now wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, uh, we'll see what comes up in the future, I can't promise anything, I really can't,
and I think you know now that it's just everything that's going to shit. So, yeah, just have to uh, put your best foot forward and keep your chin up, yeah? As they say, uh, uh, hard times make strong men, don't they? Good times make weak men, yeah? Weak men make hard times, and hard times make strong men. So we're going to be okay at the end of the day, aren't we? Yeah. All right, guys, anyway, guys and girls, I shall see you alone. Okay. <laughs>